Uh, so we're back, and I wanted to talk a little bit about our learning management system, uh, this LMS. And we've talked about the difference between an LMS and a CMS, which is a content management system. The, 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 the basic difference is that the content management system is not trying to assess teaching and learning. It does not necessarily have the, um, it, it could be used that way, but it's not designed for teaching and learning. It's more about um, experiencing the content as opposed to, or, or commu building community around the content, as opposed to actually trying to measure teaching and learning with the content. So, um, one of the most popular LMSs, or, or at least an LMS that I particularly like, and I think we use this in a number of the universities uh, where I teach, is this thing called Moodle. And Moodle is the Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. Right? Someone went to great lengths to try to make this word Moodle. So they, they uh, so Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. Um, and I think that the key points of this would be dynamic and then learning environment. And when we talk about the, the, the dynamism of this, uh, Moodle is what we call open source. What that means is, is that there are volunteers, people who have dedicated their time, created this com community where Moodle is at the center of that community. Um, a community of, of teachers and learners who said that we can actually really make an impact in the world by creating courses uh, for people online or giving people the tools to do that. And so Moodle has become very popular because it allows uh, at little to low to no cost, it has allowed people to create um, these learning management systems that are pretty dynamic um, in terms of the scalable, uh, the scalableness of it, the, the functionality of it, the um, the ability to, to make money as a using this uh, the, this learning management system it's it's, um, it's really revolutionized particularly places um, you know um, parts of the world that don't necessarily have access to lots of technology but can get access to this and can use this for for learning in, in remote areas so um, so the open source idea is that uh, as a community we make things better uh, kind of like wiki um, Wikipedia, where people add to uh, to the community, Moodle has a, has a community that is very much like that as well. And so um, it is it is open source. It is quote unquote free. And I say I say it like that because everything does have a cost, right? So if you're going to to start a Moodle, you'll need a um, a web host. And um, if you contact me, I can give you the name of some really good ones. I can use, give you the name of the ones that I use. Um, but Moodle is, um, is really cool because this, this open source model, there are always these new widgets and gadgets and um, modules that get added um, at low or no cost. And again, I say low or no cost because, again, everything has a price. And typically, if you're getting an open source piece, what that means is that all the work to make it ready for general production in terms of the look and feel, um, the, the color schemes, the, 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 you know, down to the content, you have to actually provide yourself and you have to create um, the, the, uh, the human beings to take the skeleton of a program and actually shape it for your needs. And so there is Moodle.org, but there's also Moodle.com that um, offers services, paid services, to help people to, to build the Moodle uh, for their organizations the way that they want. Um, for the Moodles that I've used, I've, I've done most of the things myself. I've had some coders do some PHP work for me. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that, but I wanted to share this because when we create this new do to, we're going to make it SCORM compliant, and SCORM is what we end up importing into a learning management system like Moodle. Um, there are some other pri uh, pri uh, proprietary 
uh, learning management systems, but they also use SCORM. Now, so it's important that we at least understand what SCORM is because no matter what the learning management system, whether you're using Moodle or you're using some other learning management system, they will all be SCORM compliant. So you can upload that into those learning management systems. And again, Ududu is a great course creation tool. And what I would do, that, and again, and this is what I tried to encourage you to do as a part of um, this particular project, is start with a PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a very simple and easy way to, um, to start course creation. And then move from that PowerPoint to Ududu. So import your PowerPoint into Ududu. And then add your, 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 your slides, your PDFs, your, uh, your media, be it a video or be it a voiceover. Um, you can add all those things and then add your assessments. And for the most part, you're ready to go. And so once you've done that, you can export that SCORM, and then it's ready to upload into, um, into a Moodle. And so what I'm looking for in your final project is I'm looking for how did you, you know, use media in your Udu2, how did your PowerPoint slides look, what are your assessments. And typically I like multiple choice questions because I'm not really trying to trick my students but I do want to understand what their comprehension level is and what I'm trying to share. So um, these are the three concepts that we're, we'll be talking about this week. Um, if you have any other questions, please give me a call. I'm more than happy to entertain any of them. And I look forward to, um, to our time this week. So this is Andre, and I will see you later. Thanks.